Hello, I'm meteorologist Erica Kalora, and thanks for joining me. And we're going to talk about a summary of pictures and also videos and the track of the Cedarville tornado that happened in portions of Greene County late Wednesday evening. Tornado summary starts off. Uh, the first warning included Cedarville. That was at 515. Touchdown was at 544 in the evening. So they had just under 30 minutes to get prepared, gather their things and their family members and get down to the basement. The tornado uh, lifted around uh, 6 o'clock, about three minutes after 6 in the evening, and it was on the ground for 19 minutes. Here's a picture of the warning. You could see in this thin red line, that's your tornado warning, including Waynesville at the time, through Spring Valley and also Xenia, who are all too familiar with tornadoes. And uh, just on the edge, just behind this black banner, was Cedarville. So they were just on the uh, outskirts of that tornado warning at the time. The yellow here is a severe thunderstorm warning, but they were in that warning at quarter after five Wednesday evening. The touchdown was just west of Stringtown Road, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but it, it, it was a very rural area, but there were a, a lot of reports of damage. And right around Stringtown Road, there was estimated winds of 75 miles per hour. That's about an EF-0 tornado. There was tree damage, roof damage, and also a camper tossed. Unfortunately, he just bought this camper. But uh, it is a total loss. This was near Stringtown Road. He just bought it a couple weeks ago. And uh, the house was unscathed. So uh, the tractor, or excuse me, the camper was very light and was able to get tossed around in the winds. And then that tornado traveled across US 35 and Federal Road. A farm was struck, barn, uh, roof damage, 85 mile per hour winds were estimated. That's about an EF zero. Take a look at this tornado track. I have uh, the roads kind of mapped out for you. This includes Xenia and Greene County up through Wilberforce and Cedarville. And the track of that tornado was just to the east of US 42, if you're familiar with these roads. There's 35 where the tornado crossed over. This is Federal Road right here, and this is State Route 72. So, tornado tracked up on the southeastern edge of town uh, around Cedarville and then moved toward uh, northern Greene County. So, that gives you an indication of where this was happening uh, during that evening. It crossed over 72. We had property damage there. Windows were blown out of a house. Roof damage. Trees were snapped. Estimated winds around 105 miles per hour. That's an EF1 tornado. We then go to Turnbull Road. So as you can see, that tornado wasn't an EF3 the whole track. So it was weaker, it got stronger, and then it got weaker again before it lifted. Around Turnbull Road, we saw that it hit a stone quarry. Uh, also, it tossed a truck and a lawnmower. And also, a house was damaged along with the trees around it. Here's some video that I took of the morning after. And you could see the house in the background. Some trees were damaged around there. They look kind of misheveled. And uh, we had some roof damage to that house. This is the field next to it. This right here is their truck that was next to the house that got tossed about 100 yards. And then you could see the mower close to that truck. This is something very interesting. This is Turnbull Road right here. And this is a very shallow ditch. But where you see this debris, of the dirt and maybe some corn uh, for, left over from last season. This is traveling across the road. This is exactly where that tornado moved over Turnbull Road and headed up right here. And it's a perfect picture. You can see the path very clearly. On the other side of that is a stone pit, gravel pit. And, um, and here's a picture from the other side of that gravel pit. So gravel pits beyond that tree line. As you can see here, we have thick woods on either side. Tornado came right where it's fairly sparse. So pretty cool shot of that. 